Dear teachers, welcome to this short video on how to join Cozilla courses. And from the ICT course that we have had, I'm sure that many of you know a little bit about MOOCs, that is Massive Open Online Courses, and how you can be able to join into the different platforms such as Cozilla, EDX, and Udacity. So I have seen in your discussions that many of you, some of you have not been able to, to join the courses because they don't see where to register in for free where you can be able to access the resources for free generally. So what I've done is I'm going to demonstrate on how best you can be able to do, go through all the courses without paying money. Remember, when you, have, you, you want a certificate, you want to complete a course and receive a certificate, that's where the um, payment option has to come. Therefore, you have to pay some amount of money so that you complete all the courses, you'll be provided with many, many resources, and of course you have, you get a certificate in the end. But if you want to learn about the course that you have, you're interested in, and you don't like to pay any amount of money, this is the point where I have to explain to you because we want you teachers to be able to, to learn professionally, to increase your knowledge and profession and professions by learning through different courses. And therefore, you could be able to register into any of the courses and then go through all the course, course materials, complete all the activities and learn in the process in, so that you can be able to apply them in the teaching and learning, in your teaching and learning practices. And therefore, I'm sure that many of you now know how to log in. So like now here I have logged in. You can see my name is Lucian here. And these are the different options the moment you log in into your system. Now, again, after the moment you log into the system, you'll be able to see this pane. Uh, you know, it's an open pane because I have not been active for some times. But then you have, uh, you, you'll be able to see inactive causes. You'll also be able to see the active causes that have been participating. You'll also be able to see the different accomplishments. If I have got any certificate of accomplishment or any activity that I've got, it will be shown here. And then, of course, there will be some other updates or any activity that Cozera uh, uh, wants to inform me about anything new. But what you have to do is you go to Explore, do, and then click on the course uh, on the categories that you want. Maybe you want to learn about computer sciences. You have the different options coming up. You want to learn about data sciences. You have options coming up. You want to learn about social sciences, where we go to education, for instance. So I want to go for social sciences. I go to education here. Then from education, the moment you click on education, the different courses related to education will open up actually. So you see this is education and it gives you all the courses that are connected to education and that you can be able to apply in your teaching and learning. So you you scroll down to search for the course that you want. Like here, this is the course named a virtual teacher. It's given by University of California, Irving. And these are other courses for academic writing and many, many others. So scroll down and search for the course that you think is interesting for you to be able to join. So let's say, let's say, I want to learn about teaching character and class in positive classrooms, probably. And uh, maybe you want to learn about uh, educa evolution of cause, uh, cause, uh, a cause for educator, evolution, a cause for educator. For I want to learn about this, probably. So what I do, I click on the course first. The first place you click on the course, the course opens up. And then you see, you scroll down and see where all these, uh, the causes and the descriptions, you will be able to see uh, different different activities and explanations about this course itself, modules and the teachers and all, and all that. But for us, we don't need all this in the meantime, because I know that this course will be starting, uh, will be starting probably, uh, it will be starting on July 9, it is shown here. Now I want to enroll today so that by July 9, I will be getting information or emails into my account explaining on how I have to join and all. So that by Ju July 9, I will be able to join and start the course. So now what I do, I click on Enroll Me. Now clicking here gives you two options. One is purchase the course where you have to pay, commit to, to earning a certificate. It's a trusted, shareable way to showcase your skills. So the moment you want to get a certificate in, and complete all the activities and get your certificate, this is the option you have to select. But for you, if you just want to have a full access to the course materials without getting the certificate, this is the option that you want. And this is the option actually I wanted you to go through. Because I want you to be able to navigate through the different courses, learn as much as you can without paying any amount of money. Because you can see now, paying uh, rupees 1,937, this could be something like uh, 50,000 Tanzanian shillings or 60,000. And it could be something like 80,000 or 90,000 Tanzanian shillings, which is too much anyway. So join this four course, you know, certificates here. You will still have access to all the course materials for this course, videos, activities, uh, assignments, and all you can be able to do. But in the end, whatever max you score, even if you get 100, you will not be able to receive your certificate. This is the difference between this option and this option. So for you, basically, you have to say, select this one and then go for 
uh, continue. So the moment you continue now, you are welcome to this course. You can now access the course materials. Start learning. Your learning materials will be opening up. And now you are now you can be able to scroll down and start week one, week two, week three, depending on the availability and the day starting date. So click on start here, for instance. You will be starting on week one and the materials for week one will be opening up. These are the materials for week one, introductions and all, covering everything. So move forward and continue learning. From here, you'll finish up week one, you go to week two. Likewise, you continue towards till the end. So this is the case when you have that option where you have to click without paying an amount. Some other courses will have other options like an audit, joined by auditing. Okay, go back uh, to explore. Then I go to social sciences probably well, because I want education. So now I go to education. So some other courses have different options, but you use the word, uh, we use the word uh, audit. So you join the course by auditing, not, not otherwise. If you see the word audit, that means you'll be able to join the course without paying and be able to have access to all the materials. So uh, teach English now. Suppose I want to, let me try this one. Teach English now, click here. So now, okay, we wait for the enroll button to be active. Now click on enroll now, and then see, try, or click, click on audit course, audit. So in many cases, you have this audit option, and in many cases, you have audit in the options around here. So the way, the moment you see the way the audit here, click on this audit, you have all the access, uh, you will have all the access to the teaching materials, to the learning materials, and now you can be able to move forward in the process of learning. So these are the two different options that you need to have, remember, the audit option or the free option will help you be able to be successful in any uh, cause error or more causes. I hope this will help you be able to register in many causes and be able to move forward in your professional development. Thank you.